Welcome back to Electric Bike Building with John Bozzi. How you going, mate? Um, so this is just very temporarily just put on just to sort of help me think of ideas. I'm speaking really quietly because the ladies are sleeping. Um, it's an SCA. Uh, I did try to get the shit off, but I couldn't. Uh, it does fit the battery, but um, the the width of it is exactly the width of the battery on the inside so there's no space for anything to be attached at the back here um, although I could attach on top and um, have these two fat the fatter ones here going straight down and this would obviously um, come across to more on an angle like this it's a pain with all these freaking cables here that I can't really play around with it as much but um, <clears throat> this this is kind of misleading these sort of strengthened fins are misleading actually the the um, the fork brace here does actually come into the middle of that so actually there's there would be more height and um, this would come up higher as well so I think it would clear clear it um, perfectly in this position well probably just on the border um, with these uh, one screw clamps I bought two either side that, that I could order 25 to 28 and over this one is um, it's called bismat for anyone looking for it I got it from Reese um, these are 31 to 35 and these ones will not go any further so this size that I ordered you know they didn't have them so I had to order them um, I didn't know how wide my box would be but you can see this is not going to come across any further so I'd have to put a piece of metal out here or something to be able to use this which is kind of a total waste in my opinion I do like these it looks like uh, locks they look like you could use them. I was originally going to use this on, on there to put it up, but then I saw that there's a little holes here in the handle. Anyway, um, superficial stuff. So, what are we talking about here? Uh, I will be getting rid of this uh, chunky derailleur, and I've got ordered a um, seven speed twist, twister for this side. So that'll free up this terrible space and this cable is really hard to do, work with. Um, so that'll go to the other side. This one I'm going to get rid of. This um, lockout I'm going to get rid of. And the uh, brake cable is a lot softer. Um, obviously I'll be mounting my lights elsewhere. I'll be getting different kinds of lights. Um, and the cycle analyst will be going somewhere else as well. So basically what are we what are we dealing with here these these little thin ones basically are a waste so I've, I've got these and these do fit down here on the on the stand stand tin however you pronounce it which I only see would actually clear maybe something if they were turned sideways but not even then would they would they clear they would clear maybe a bit higher so they they don't fit this you can see they're way too fat up here below the, the lockout or the the light thing it doesn't fit they're the wrong size and not only that you can see it goes changes angle really fast the widths change really fast so clamping here is not going to work um, my last last option is I've ordered the, um, oh, I forgot the name of it, like these nuts that clamp somehow into here and I've got a screw hole here and could build something out out onto this. Now this will be up a little bit higher so still this will be here and I uh, don't know I know we've talked about like a ch -ch sort of style thing but everything's looking pretty tight I was thinking to turn this sort of like on its actual base but it looks kind of stupid um, 
yeah it's not really progressing as well as I thought it might progress um, all my wires are all kind of in temporary positions because I'm still working out my psychoanalyst and I don't want to lock anything into place basically I'll when I finally got everything set up the way I will have it I'll be pulling everything off and putting it back on again um, so all my wires are tightly sort of hidden away and I plan to kind of use this space in here to, to kind of tie them all up any ones that are longer and don't really want to fit there tidily I'll probably run down here and back up again and sort of can easily sort of lock them away and get rid of this bloody derail stuff now my other question is here of, I uh, got from the uh, ebikes.ca um, for my thermal thermal wire. I don't know if you can see the thermal wire there, but I got this um, this cable, um, and I need to work out how to get this wire into this connection. I think this is the connection, not this one. Is it this one? No, oh, this one. Yeah, so that has to join there somehow. I don't know, my wiring and my soldering skills are shite. So, anyway. So, my battery had a tumble. Um, I'll just put a bit of sticky tape on it for a bit. It's um, all my own fault. I was doing tests to see how strong this was and it just fell off. Um, so, how about I show you actually my dimensions of the battery just chuck it I'll pull this out in a second just uh, bear bear with me for a second where do I put this oh, I'll just pop that there for a second it's quite noisy alright I did have the box came with tons of sponge and it was $18 $18, which is really cheap. Uh, that's how it looks inside uh, the box. Um, and as, as I was saying, the oh, I can't use this side because of the dimensions of the battery. And um, this side's got some really, really chunky fins as well, as you can see on the side there. So just let me grab the battery. baby crying uh, so here's my dimensions uh, as as I needed more space here that's good for the cabling but really this should be centered the weight should be centered so I don't know how far you can actually bend bend this just going to turn it toward the light a little bit um, the actual handles of these things is a little bit like a tub so it's a bit narrower at the bottom and wider at the top so I imagine I can put if I put this down on the base side which I'm imagining first that it'll go that way um, baby's alright mum's there um, just let me pop that like that I might sit like that that will so that kind of gives you boy it gives you a better idea maybe how it sits in there and there's lots of space in here to uh, get shallower deeper inside um, so what I'm imagining is to put the clamp the clamp here E for easy right everything's so easy uh, so my just put that down the uh, clamps oh shit I'll have to maybe do something about the handle. Something like right there. Something clamped. Or, or depending on the, on the bike. That the width will probably be here and here. 
and uh, I imagine sticking a uh, like a thin piece of steel here or aluminium um, something strong especially on the inside as well if I can fit it to tighten it and to give it more strength and support across the whole length and not on just the two two points that are holding now these things I I don't know if they are strong enough you look at the the actual widths of this steel uh, this screws and these little fidgety little things for opening and closing them I'm not too um, feeling too strong or too safe with these because this is going to be um, what is it about seven six kilos six something kilos and if this is about another kilo or two um, the whole thing seven or eight kilos and multiply that by what I want to do which is drop off gutters I don't believe these things can handle them um, this is a 10 10 um, centim uh, 10 millimeters sorry uh, I can get a rod <laughs> the place I got them from said you can get a rod or um, a three meter rod for eight dollars I thought I don't need a rod I want some freaking bolts or something so anyway that's my uh, sort of uh, conundrum that I'm in right now plan to get rid of this bloody thing this bloody thing this bloody thing it's just a total mess so anyway, uh, my three, three-way switch here. You can see my M is my about 30k an hour, H is uh, 40, and L is about uh, 50k an hour. That's about all I think has changed since the last time I've been working on it. And uh, keep cool. Thanks for helping me out.